Hey guys, Econ's here with another World of Warcraft gold making guide. This farm can be pretty insane from a gold per hour standpoint, and one that I mentioned briefly in my previous gold making guide. However, I didn't realize the full potential until I thought about it more, ran some numbers, and felt motivated to do some runs this week to test it out. A small disclaimer is that this farm is all about the RNG. On one hand, you can get really unlucky and farm only about 2k gold per hour, or while improbable, but not impossible, you could be super lucky and pull in 1.2 million gold per hour. As always, your mileage may vary, and most will land somewhere in between these two extremes. While I wasn't able to attain the dream, 1.2 million gold per hour, or sadly anywhere close to that, I was able to hit 120k gold per hour. On top of that, I can reasonably expect to replicate this in weeks to come, so this still makes it one of the best gold farms I know of currently. In this guide, I'm going to be telling you what to do, how to optimize your run so you can increase your gold per hour, and at the end, I'll share my small sample of results from the runs that I did yesterday, as well as go over all the math. So what we're going to be doing today is farming the Drudge Ghoul pet from Ice Crown Citadel. We're going to be doing this on normal, so if you're trying to farm Invincible or work on Shadowmourne, keep in mind that you want to maybe put that on hold if you plan to do this farm. Okay, so a typical run of ACC takes around 25 minutes. While I don't generally like grinding like this, I thought it might be fun and I managed to muster the energy to do 10 full clears yesterday. Uh, here are the results from those 10 runs. I found that you get around 750 gold per run, average about 1 pet per run, and even managed to get 3 precious ribbons in those 10 runs that I did. On my realm, with the current price of pets, this equates to around 137 spot 5k gold in about 4 hours, which only works out to around 35k per hour. Not too bad, but not great. So you may be asking, how are we able to hit that 120k gold per hour? Well, as it turns out, you can substantially increase this gold per hour by sharing lockouts. Remember that gold per hour is a rate, so the way you can increase it is to make more gold in that amount of time or to decrease the amount of time and be more efficient. In this farm, we're only after the Dredge Ghoul. You can kill the bosses up to the Lich King on one character, and then share that lockout with your other character so they can avoid having to kill the previous bosses. I found that killing the Lich King takes around 5 minutes. So this method is 5 times faster than a full clear, which we already established takes around 25. So if you're not familiar with how to share lockouts, this is how to do it if you're alone. What you want to do is create a group on the tune with a lockout. Make sure to log out actually being in the instance. This is important. Second, you want to log into the tune with your fresh lockout and apply to the group that you just made with your first tune and log out. Okay, next what you want to do is log back into the first tune and then send the invite to the second tune and log out again. Now finally, what you want to do is log into your second tune, accept the invite, and then you can enter the instant and you can do the run starting at the Lich King. Bear in mind that with sharing the lockouts, the second tune can't go back and kill any of the previous bosses that have already been killed. So you should just do full clears if you need the other pets for your collection. Uh, one thing that I found when doing my runs is that you only need to make one lockout per faction. Uh, that means if you just run it once on Horde, all of your other Horde characters can run it using that same lockout. And same goes with Alliance. Also, remember to go back to your lockout tune and kill the Lich King when you're done running with your other character. I found that doing the aforementioned lockout trick yourself makes the run take around 7 minutes. 2 minutes of which are spent with all the logging on and logging off that goes on. But if you can get a friend with a lockout or a second account, you can reduce the time of each run to under 5 minutes because all you have to do is enter the instance, port to the Lich King, and kill him. This means in an hour you can get in about 12 total runs. I managed to do 15 of these runs, skipping to the Lich King with the lockout on one of my other accounts and managed to get 2 dredge rules. The 15 runs works out to about 100 minutes spent, 25 for the first one to get the lockout, and 5 minutes for each subsequent Lich King kill. The Drudge Ghoul is going for around 100k on my server, so that works out to about 120k gold per hour, and 200k actualized gold once I sell the item. While many players may not have a bunch of ults to do this, from a gold per hour standpoint, it should almost be moot. That's because the drop rate of Drudge Ghoul is always going to be the same, and the person with 20 ults is going to spend close to twice the amount of time farming as the person with 10 ults. The the only difference that you're going to see is your actualized gold. Um, you're able to generate more gold on a weekly basis since you have more lockouts to use and more chances at that dredge gold. Lastly, we're going to take the results of my 25 runs and try to determine how profitable it can be on your realm. The 25 runs I did is a relatively small sample size, but it provides enough insight into the drops so we can make a rough estimation. If you plan to do a full clear, it's going to take you about 25 minutes per run. I averaged about one non dredge gold pet per run which leads me to believe that the drop rate is around 25%. You can express this on a per run basis by adding up the price of all four non-dredgical pets, then dividing by four. 
These pets are the Bone Shard, Blight Breath, Blood Boil, and Soul Broken Whelpling. I believe the drop rate of the Judge Gruel is somewhere around 10 to 15%, let's just say 10%, so you can express this on a per run basis by 0.1 times the price of the Judge Gruel. Finally, we can add those two numbers and 750 gold, which is the average raw gold per run, to determine how much gold you can reasonably expect per run. If you want to convert this gold per run number to gold per hour, all you have to do is multiply this by 60 over 25. So this equation should give you a rough approximation of the gold value of a full clear. The math with the lockout method is much simpler since we only have to worry about one drop. Again, we can express the 10% drop rate for a dredge ghoul on a per run basis by 0.1 times the price of the dredge ghoul. Since the Lich King drops about 35 raw gold and about 45 gold worth of items on 10 man normal, we can add 80 gold to this. This will give you the expected gold per run. If you want to convert this to gold per hour basis, all you have to do is take that number and multiply it by 60 over x, where x is the number of minutes it takes you to do each run. Keep in mind that you usually have to do one full clear once per week for the lockout, and you will need to account for this in your math. If you run a bunch of ults using this method, it should become negligible so you can pretty much ignore it. Enclosing a few additional points to maximize your gold from these sales. I mentioned this in my previous gold making guide, but remember that if prices of pets aren't favorable on your realm and you're farming these to buy tokens, then you can just create the pets and try to sell them on realms where the prices are substantially higher than yours. Personally, I feel like I have enough gold already on my main realm, so I plan to send these pets to others where I have tunes and need gold. The Drudge Ghouls have a relatively low drop rate, are quick and easy to farm, and sell for a ton, so I plan to milk this while it lasts, and I urge you all to do the same. As always, Thank you very much for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe. Late.